All right, everyone, just now got back on the road. I am actually here at my old one. Bear with me. Put some gloves on. I just now hooked up the trailer. Put the pins in. Let's spin this thing around. And you guys might be able to see me and you might not be able to. But look at the ball of my lines. that all squared away. I'll be right back. Well. Good dent right here. Lights are working. Typically, when you're, uh, I'm at Tropicana in Ohio, and typically, in my experience, Tropicana usually sometimes are a little heavy. this side and see what it looks like got some scratches and dings and dents got the wings on this one tires look good so let's uh, roll up here slide these tandems and get this thing sealed up and I'll holler back at you shortly.
too heavy of a load. Because I got it in the 12th hole and I'm only got like almost 32,000. Alright, let's go seal this thing up, guys. Alright, guys, we are still getting unloaded here in Bedford Heights. steps in let's go get some steps in it's not too bad out here this morning the winds not blowing got my hat on so you can check out the place here kind of see got some clean energy uh, pumps over there my first load back from home time um, which I left yesterday and uh, I was only home for six days and just kind of uh, the hot wife it was on the truck for a week so when I dropped her off I just went home for six days rode back out and if I play it right which I think I will. Um, I should not be in the hole and I should be able to draw a check. So I went home Saturday of last week and remembered that the pay period has changed now. So instead of Tuesday, it's on Wednesday at 1600. So I still had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I only ran from Wednesday to Saturday, and I still drew a uh, uh, $900 check after all my expenses. So I'm hoping, and if things go right, which I think they will, um, I won't be in a hoe at all. And I took home six days, took off six days for home time. So when people complained about lease operators can't make no money and go home too, I'm gonna show you guys uh, kind of do it right. Yeah, you're not gonna make as much money, but you don't necessarily have to go in the hole. So. Looks like it's going to be a uh, sunny day uh, when Heather was on a truck with me last uh, last week. We delivered at the same location, and uh, it's pretty snowy. Lots of ice. So after we left here, hold on, that's Kenworth. left here last week we went up to uh, northeast uh, Iowa and that's where you guys uh, saw that uh, that wreck on uh, Instagram but I've uploaded the full video right now check it out Finally uh, getting through up here. As you can see, it's uh, the condition has definitely changed from when I was live on Instagram. And we're getting ready to come up here where you'll be able to, uh, there's a, a bunch of the it looks like two semis, maybe one semi in the middle. 
and it's like a bunch of other cars. Can you see it up where you? Who's loaded too? It don't look like it's Amazon or UPS or FedEx. guys
haven't seen a prime truck yet either. This is at the 239. You can see, I mean, you can't really see. It's a total whiteout a mile ahead. Better be getting up here and go ahead while these roads are shut down and at least on the eastbound side and get some uh, salt on them. It's like out here guys out here on the road you can go from I was just talking how Sun was shining. It was beautiful Valentine's Day got the hot wifey beside of me then you go to this right here So be safe And uh, Get you out on the road